hello everyone welcome to the map of mathematics uh, in this video we are going to solve an equation uh, and we will find its root or its solution uh, so let's going to start uh, in this uh, question we are using synthetic division um, to solve the equation okay so i will briefly discrete uh, uh, explain the concept of synthetic division and we will easily solve this equation so if, uh, in order to apply the synthetic division first we need find the root of the equation uh, we just put uh, here x is equal to we, we just find the value of x which satisfy the equation number one and which is equal to zero uh, so here i can find a number which is uh, x is equal to three when we substitute x is equal to 3 in, equa in this equation number 1, then we will easily get 0 is equal to 0. So we say that 3 is satisfied the equation number 1 or 3 is the root of the equation number 1. Okay, so uh, for here first we find the root and after that we will apply the synthetic division. And uh, in order to apply the synthetic division, uh, we, we just find uh, the... Uh, coefficient of this equation we find the coefficient of each variable of the equation okay here we see we see that the coefficient of uh, x is uh, the coefficient of x cube is 1 and the coefficient of x square is also 1 and the coefficient of x here x is uh, is not present in the equation uh, so we say that the coefficient of x is 0 and the uh, uh, and the constant term uh, is minus 36 uh, after that we find the root of this equation and the root is 3 so we write root here and uh, the first term we write as it is this is 1 after that we multiply 1 by 3 we multiply 1 by 3 and we get 3 after that we add these two terms 1 plus 3 is equal to 4 again we multiply 4 by 3 and 4 3 is a 12 uh, when then again we add 0 plus 12 we get 12 and again we multiply 12 by 3 and 12 3 is a 36 and we write here 36 and then we add these two and we will obtain 0 so the last term is called its remainder okay here last term is called its remainder when we apply the synthetic division uh, one thing you remember is that uh, the remainder is always 0 okay so after that we write here depressed equation uh, now we write depressed equation and its depressed equation is uh, dip, uh, in order to write the depressed equation uh, the first coefficient is uh, for x square and uh, 1 into x square and second is the coefficient of x and uh, uh, again the last one is the uh, the constant term and we equate it equal to 0 okay now we solve this quadratic equation and we will find the solution of the given equation so in order to find the solution of this quadratic equation we will use the quadratic formula and we know that what is the quadratic formula here we write the value of uh, the coefficient of x square x and constant term the coefficient of x square is 1 and we say that a is equal to 1 and coefficient of x is 4 and we say that b is equal to 4 and the, uh, we equate the constant term is equal to c and here is the quadratic formula and now we uh, substitute all the values of a b and c here uh, and then we see that what is going on uh, so minus 4 here we uh, put the value of b which is minus 4 plus minus b square uh, and here we put the value of b is 4 and 4 square is 16 minus 4 into the value of a is 1 and the value of c is 12 square root over 2a and the value of a is also 1 so uh, and now we simplify this term and we will obtain the value of x is equal to minus 4 plus minus uh, minus uh, when we simplify this term we obtain minus 32 square root over 2 okay uh, so here you, you can see that the minus sign is occur in the square root and we we say that this is the 
complex root okay uh, here is the complex root uh, uh, so we neglect here because here we find just real root and here is occur the com both are complex root plus minus these are two roots and these two roots are complex so we neglect here because uh, we find here some real root or integer roots uh, so only solution of given equation okay thank you so much for watching my video please like my video and subscribe my channel thank you so much